Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, welcome to my uh, next tutorial in the uh, Microsoft Flight Sim series. Uh, today, I wanted to show you a technique that I, uh, I learned over the last uh, couple of days, which is basically how to take a model uh, in uh, that you've maybe imported from Google Maps or built yourself, uh, and how to bake the textures so that you end up with only one texture in total. So this particular model, if you look up at here at my materials and my textures, got a significant amount of them. Okay, you know each of them have it's probably about 12 to 14 different textures, and that's fine. Uh, but it makes it a little unwieldy to deal with. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how I bake this in. Now I use a uh, a uh, plugin for Blender uh, called Bake Lab 2. Uh, here's the uh, the link. I will put that in the description once I upload this to YouTube. But you download this, and you would install it the normal uh, method, uh, which is Edit Preferences, click on Install, find the uh, find the zip file it downloads. Oop, went too far. Which is Blender Bake Lab 2. And right here is uh, Baking Bake Lab. So I've already got it installed. And it will be in your uh, pull menu here. If you don't see it, make sure you're in edit mode. Okay, so because if I bring up Bake Lab and I switch modes by hitting the tab key, Bake Lab will disappear, just to let you know. So first thing we have to do is we have to select uh, I'm going to join all of my sub objects into one object. So press A, right click, join, boom, we're done joining. First thing we have to do is create a UVW unwrap. There is one built into every model, but of course uh, it's not going to suffice for this. So click on unwrap, and here's what we have to select. We want our unmap road as all in one. Uh, we're going to create a new UVW map. We're going to call it Bake UV Map. We'll leave that as, as the default, and we we'll leave all of these as the default. Click on OK. Now, the size of your model, of course, will depend on how long this particular process takes. Uh, in this particular case, as you saw, it didn't last in a few seconds. You have a big model, though. Uh, it could take quite some time. So now we have an unwrap, uh, a UVW unwrap, and, and to prove that, if I go up to UV editing, you'll notice that I have two UVW maps, which is perfect. Now I'll go back to my layout. Now we're going to do a bake mode, and of course, again, we're going to do all in one image. We're going to leave it a fixed size, and we're going to do a save. We're going to select a folder to save our uh, our bacon, so I'll just accept uh, a thing that I created, and we're going to create a new map. We're going to do it with an albedo for now. Of course, if you're doing metallic, you're doing the other ones, you can do that. Uh, we'll leave it at 1024. That's big enough for our test. Uh, and, you know, we can set up compression, uh, 16 bytes. You can set up any of the parameters you want for your texture. So you click OK, come down to image name, and we'll call it uh, baked tutorial. Again, you call it whatever you want to call it, 1024. Make sure it's PNG because, of course, Microsoft Flight Sam really likes PNG. Okay, so we're save, and now we click on bake. Now, once we click bake, of course, again, uh, how long this takes will depend on the size of your uh, uh, the size of your model. In my case, of course, it wasn't very big, but you'll notice it created the PNG file. Now, this thing is really ugly looking. This is not something you're going to turn around and paint over. But we don't really care for what we're doing it for. If this was an aircraft, on the other hand, you probably would care and you wouldn't bake because you wouldn't be able to create, uh, you know, create your skins from that. So now you'll notice that uh, we're, it's asking us what we need to do. So we're going to generate our materials. Right, 
generated all kinds of materials, but the materials all point to the same texture. So we click on finish. Now in my case, now in your case, if you were using Blender to do your flight sim export, you would probably just continue on for here. But in my case, I always I use um, uh, I use 3D Max to do my export. So I'm going to save this as baked. And uh, and export my Collada file. You'll notice that my, the Collada file is there. I go to my 3D Max. Now I import. Oops, go to desktop. Bake tutorial. Collada. Import it. Click OK. Oh, <laughs> just remembered what I forgot to do. One of the things you have to select in your export. Uh, let's try this again. <laughs> so that's a gotcha. Uh, but you have to make sure you select only the selected map. Otherwise, it selects both of them and it defaults to the, the default one that's in it. So now I export it. And I file, make sure I new all don't save file import and i import my map click ok and voila and to prove that there's only one if i bring up my material editor inside of this you'll notice only one material one sub material and it points to that to bake tutorial.png file. So hopefully this will help somebody. Uh, again, uh, now of course you would uh, you would simply go up. You would go Babylon file exporter. Of course, this is inside of 3D Max uh, bake tutorial, and I would go baked. And I'm not going to do anything special. So I'm not even going to auto save that. Uh, generate the manifest, but export. Saves one file. Now if I go into my baked one one mesh file, this is the this is the one you're concerned with. But if I check this with my 3D viewer, I should have a model. And I do. Baked one texture from about 14 different textures. So hopefully uh, this helps somebody out. Uh, if you have any questions, I'm on the forums, so you can get a hold of me there. Everybody have a nice day.